Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be uh, one that I haven't done for a while and I'm going to do a tag. So I'm going to do the Your Answer Can't Be Books tag. I originally saw this over on the channel Working Man Reads. Um, Josh was answering the questions uh, so I made a quick note of them and thought I would do it myself um, but I think the original creator it was a, a channel called At Book Buds. Um, I will try and link both of those down below so that you can go and check them out for yourself. So as the name suggests none of the answers can be related to books or anything about books uh, so let's dive right in. The first question is something you have too many of other than books and honestly that for me is um, cross stitch uh, charts and kits. I have far too many of them. Um, I have far too many in progress. Uh, I have far too many not started. I have lots of pieces of material. I have every single colour in the DMC palette, um, main palette colour. Um, which is hundreds. Uh, I have all of those. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a hobby that I like to do if I'm sat watching television. It gives my hands something to do. Um, and it's a bit of a mindful hobby for me as well, because it's one where, because I have to concentrate quite closely on the patterns, especially if I'm doing counted cross stitch, um, it doesn't allow any other thoughts uh, to infiltrate my mind and it just gives my brain a break and allows me to relax from the day-to-day -day stresses of the world um, and, and things that are going on in life. Um, so yes, so that is one that I definitely have far too much of and along with my books, I really need to do some kind of catch-up. Question number two is something else you do for fun and I have to refer back to the first question on this. I'm not someone who has a lot of hobbies. I don't go out lots, so um, pretty much I'm a homebody and my hobbies are reading and cross stitch. Um, and I do a lot of that. I have in the last um, six months or so taken up roller skating again though. Um, and my friend uh, that I used to go walking with on Sundays, she called me up, she said, hey, I'm going roller skating at the weekend. Um, they hire skates out, do you want to come and join me? And since then we've both invested in skates and protective gear ourselves and we go off and uh, we join a local um, roller disco and, and we just have a great time. Again, it's quite mindful because I have to concentrate on staying on my feet. So other thoughts don't intrude and it just turns into an hour, hour and a half of just not thinking about anything other than staying upright. And I thoroughly enjoy it. And even though I'm 44, you know what? We can all go back to our teenagers and and pick up things that we used to love, and there's no harm in it, unless you fall and hurt your behind. Don't recommend that. Question number three is something special you have beside your bed that isn't a book. For me, um, I don't have a lot of things beside my bed. Um, I don't like lots of clutter. Um, so the special item that I have beside my bed is the jewellery box that I was given in my teenage years by my aunt and uncle. Um, and they, my sister also has the same jewellery box, we just don't have different wood finishes in it. And it's just, it was a jewellery box that we saw, we both loved, it's one of the few things as teenagers that we actually agreed on. Um, and yeah, I've just kept it going, carried it forward, looked after it uh, because it does have a panel of glass in it. And I've just, um, you know, I've had it for 30 years now, more than 30 years. And it it is just a staple piece that stays uh, on my bedside table um, alongside my clock and something that I leave out on display. And I'm quite happy to have it out on display. Question number four is something else you buy in bookshops that isn't a book. Um, I don't tend to purchase other things in bookshops because if I go to a bookshop, it will um, either be um, a used bookshop or it will be Waterstones here in the UK. Waterstones have branched out and they do now carry a wide range of uh board games and um, in some, I think the last time I went into a bookshop and bought something that wasn't books, uh, I went into Waterstones in a big city near me and they had a wide range of puzzles there and I bought a puzzle 
Uh, other than that, it's probably just stationery or um, bookish accessories of some kind. Um, because other than that, the other main bookshop near me is uh, a chain called W. H. Smith's and they're a stationer. So like I say, stationery, pens, pencils, paper, notepads. Yeah, so I don't really tend to go to bookshops for anything other than books. Question number five is a fun gift you received that was not books. Um, you can't see uh, the top of my bookshelf, but up there. I had some colouring books. A few years ago, my sister-in-law uh, got into colouring as something mindful that she was doing and she decided to get the rest of us on it as well. And she gave me uh, a, color, a couple of colouring books and she gave me um, some colouring pens. I don't do it very often because I find colouring quite stressful because I want everything to look nice. I'm not someone who can just colour something in a random colour. I want it to go, I want it to look like a proper picture, um, but I'm not very artistic. So that, yeah, that, that just stresses me out. So I don't do colouring very often. What I do have up there though, is um, I have some painting by numbers books. Uh, so it tells me what colours to put in there. I quite like that. Um, and I have a couple of dot to dot books up there as well. I quite enjoy doing dot to dot, just finding the next number. Um, it, it, I think because it kind of emulates doing a puzzle for me, um, that I enjoy dot to dot more than I do colouring. But yep, yeah, that was a really fun gift that my sister-in-law gave me a few years ago. The final question, question number six, is a YouTube channel that isn't about books. And I am going to wholeheartedly recommend the Mother Daughter Diaries. Uh, it's Andrea and McKenna. Um, they do shopping hauls, they do try on videos, they do advice videos, um, and they are just such fun. They never fail to make me laugh. Even when they're talking about serious subjects, it's still serious, but they just find a way to make you smile and feel like everything's great. They are a great um, pick me up on a Monday evening when I've got the Monday day blues. Um, because like I say, I just, I never fail to finish a video of theirs without having laughed out loud at some point. Um, and I thoroughly recommend them. So go and check them out as well. This says to tag five booktubers to take part. I'm not going to tag anyone individually. I'm just going to say, if you want to do this, go ahead and do it. I'd love to see your answers to this too. Um, so yeah, this was quite um, a blast from the past for me. I haven't done a tag video for quite some time um, and I thought it'd be fun to do and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, if you aren't on booktube and you don't you know you want to give the answers then you know pop them in the comments down below we can all chat with you down there um and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little insight into my life other than reading and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye